it's challenging because I've been in many situations where there's people that have come into my life that I love dearly, yet know deeply that it's not, you know, I guess what we see is the, the, the true love or the one or anything like that. Um, and as much as I'd like that to be, to have to say to them, I'm sorry, I'm not that which what you want, I'm this and this is where I'm at, um, has happened a, a number of times in my life and that's been definitely very challenging a lot of times because how often have I wanted to be having the same type of life that maybe another friend has where they met their partner 10 years ago and they've been together for 10 years and now they're married and they have this beautiful life and, and everything's picture perfect and here I am being like I met someone but it just fully wasn't there. I still love them, but it's just not the same, so it would be unfair to kind of pretend or to go through the motions of being like, well, I'm going to be with you anyways for 10 years because I want to be like these other people. That has been definitely very challenging because it's kind of that internal struggle of, I guess, knowing yourself more than what the kind of top layer of the self is searching for you know it'd be so much easier if someone was beside me every night because maybe i'd have that comfort or or someone to confide in or something like that or maybe not so scary because you don't feel like you're so alone but um i feel that it's been way better off to be truly honest uh, with myself and those feelings and having to deal with the the consequences of of losing uh, that uh, that individual or how they respond and react to that which again is out of my control so I can't help that, but um, more than spending those times alone when you wish to be with someone. Um, but at the end of the day, I still think it's still better off uh, and still exude truly what I think is love is to have that kind of honesty into that situation.